observe to rule. You take a bit of paint work off the back of the vehicle. Blue. What colour is that? It's red. Mm-hmm. So what can we deduce from this? Uh, it's customised? Possibly, Tyrone. Or it's a special edition? Mm, well, could be. But I think if we're honest with ourselves, we know exactly what the truth is, don't we? Oh, no. How am I going to tell him? I'm not telling him. Hello, both. Hiya. Got some news for you. What about? About his car. Aye, about your car. Although, as far as I can see, you've actually got two cars. Well, you've certainly got two halves welded together. That's why it folded up so badly on impact in the accident. And that's why the pin's different on the front and on the back. Two halves? Mm hmm. I believe you call it cut and shut up here up in Manchester. Basically, it's bad news. I'm sure it's nearly illegal. Or if it's not totally illegal, it's extremely dangerous. And it's not something I want to be driving about in, let me tell you. And sold to us by our own son. <laughs> what have you got to say about him now, then, eh? Your own son's selling you a death trap. Will it be a big job? I've no idea. You start delving about in them kind of vehicles. Before you know it, you're in trouble. Honest, I'd rather not touch it at all. Anyway, he'll be throwing bad money after good. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll let you have a chat about it again, OK? Let me know whenever you made your mind up. Now, look, if you went and bought something from the shop and you got it home and it was a load of rubbish, you'd take it back, wouldn't you? But this is different. How is it different? It just is. <laughs> 